In this video, I will show you how we do evaluations at Clarify. I have an app here I created for visual classification. I uploaded the CIFAR 10 dataset to this app, and then I created a training job. The system guided me through the training process and helped me separate my data into a training and test set. And once I started and finished the training job, I can run evaluations on it. That brings me to this page, which shows the evaluation results. We can have a look at the evaluation summary first. These are my concepts, and these are my key metrics. I can have a look at how my model is performing on the test dataset. Of course, the test dataset is composed of data that this model has not seen before, and I can have a look at the confusion matrix here. One great feature is that this whole page is dynamic, which means that when I go to selection details looking for some dogs that were confused as cats, I can click here and then the widget that we have right here gets updated. It's now showing me all the dog images that were confused as cats. Seeing this helps a lot. This means I can have a look at the samples where the model is performing poorly, and I can add relevant samples to my training data. This way, I can improve my model so that the confusion of dogs with cats happens less and less. I also have the precision recall curves here. I can collapse these ones, and then this. These graphs are all dynamic, which means I can come here and change the prediction threshold. For this classification, all the metrics below are going to get updated, and then I can have a look at the precision recall curves again. Everything has been updated. This dot here is showing the exact precision recall trade-off and is moving depending on how I choose the prediction threshold. This whole process helps me look at my model and find the prediction threshold that I'm comfortable with by giving me all the key metrics that I need here. Later, when I'm building an inference server, I can use the prediction threshold that I think is optimal for this model. Now, let's look at another app. This one is a text classification app where I uploaded the IMDB dataset. Essentially, some of these are negative reviews and some of these are positive reviews written on IMDB. I want to build a binary classification model with this dataset. When we look at the evaluation results for this example, we see that it's a similar page as the one we saw before. I only have two concepts, negative and positive. When I look at the confusion matrix, I see the percentage of negative labels compared with the positive ones. I can have a look at the selection details. Let's say I go here. I want to see some samples where negatively reviewed text has been wrongly predicted as positive. I click here, and when I go down, I can have a look at the samples. These are some of the negative samples that were confused to be positive. Looking at these samples, I can imagine what kind of data I need to add to my training data set to improve my model. Like the previous one, everything on this page is dynamic. You can come here, adjust the prediction threshold, and everything below is going to be updated with respect to your prediction threshold change.